News Channel 6 at 6. Good evening, everybody. I'm Brad Means. And I'm Dee Griffin in for Jenny Montgomery tonight. Coverage you can count on begins tonight with a man tased, handcuffed, and put in the back of a police car after he says he nearly died behind the wheel of his car. News Channel 6's Renata Dubo sat down with this Richmond County disabled veteran who says police got it all wrong. And Renata, he and his family are coming forward tonight, really in part to bring attention to an illness that a lot of people face. Yes, but it's not just about health. Walter McNeil says he wants to make sure local law enforcement does the right thing when they approach anyone who meets trouble on the road. But I don't remember much after leaving the gas station until the car came to a stop in Blythe. Walter McNeil takes the same route after leaving his VA hospital appointments. 15th Street with a quick stop inside the gas station on MLK and then home down Deans Bridge Road. But last Wednesday he missed the Tobacco Road exit that would have led him to his Hepzibah home. I must have drove from there past where I always get off at and ended up way out there in Blythe. Blythe police captured the incident though on this dashboard camera. <laughs> And from their vantage point, the 62-year-old could be seen in his car driving erratically. Well, I know I'm riding. I don't even know what's how or whatever. I couldn't stop it. I must have been stepping on the gas. I don't even know. An incident report from that day states McNeil was driving south on Dean's Bridge Road when he nearly hit an off-duty Jefferson County Sheriff's deputy. He reports he crossed the median airborne, was out of control, and landed in the northbound lane. It goes on to say officers caught up with McNeil, but he drove away, spinning and doing circles. In all, he took out a mailbox, and police say he posed a great danger to the safety of the public and the officers. Keeping his story when officers approached his car, guns drawn, McNeil claims he still did not know what was going on with him. Three officers pulled him out of the car and apprehended him. The other officer had my head down in the dirt with his knees, and then the other officer was behind him, and he kept hitting me up in here with a taser. And um, I was trying to keep still as possible, hoping they would stop. You can see he's visibly flailing like a flounder his arm, his legs. So what are you tasing him for? Tawana McNeil says what Blythe police didn't know and ultimately learned when a deputy with Richmond County and EMS arrived was that her husband is diabetic. His blood sugar dropped to 30. WebMD reports that range before a meal sits between 70 and 130 for diabetics. McNeil averages 120. But his wife says there's a lesson for her husband and others with diabetes. He should have waited for his wife. He did not. Now, the outcome of all of that is this. Even as a responder, even in all of that, you cannot allow your adrenaline to supersede what you know to do. Though Blythe Police reports McNeil ignored verbal commands, the family says officers failed at their job and they have a lesson to learn too. But they didn't assess no situation. They just started doing stuff. They knocked out the window and tried to pull me out the car and then you fighting with me but I ain't fighting with you. The American Diabetes Association calls a blood sugar reading less than 70 hypoglycemic and it can cause someone to pass out, have a seizure, or go into a coma. Now we drove to the Blythe Police Department and mentioned McNeil's incident and the chief to the chief and he immediately said the case has been turned over to Blythe City Attorney Chris Duby. Now Attorney Duby says he reviewed the file and the officers acted appropriately considering the circumstance. Back to you. Renata, thank you. 